Welcome to another episode of Chandelar. It's Sunday and that means it's time for coffee and Chandelar. Let's see, where were we at? Mm. Oh, nice. Uh, Tim the Enchanter. Wow, I'm just going to tone down the volume a little bit. That's very enthusiastic. I like the music. Um, I think the last time I talked about making a plan for my deck. Uh, let's sell that animate wall needs that. Um, and I think I think what I thought about is it's not going to be really spectacular, but I'm going to just try to build like a flyer's deck. It's going to try to add a lot of flying creatures in blue and black and then use dark rituals to play them out as uh, fast as I can. Let's see, what do I have here? Focus on the creatures. Here, so I've got a vampire bet, so that's gonna go in. What could I take out? The Cosmic Horror, unfortunately, which is a super cool creature. I think we're gonna make maybe a second deck with like big creatures like the Cosmic Horror and the uh, Leviathan and creatures like that, the Abomination. But that's something for later. I think I'm first gonna kind of focus on this and then maybe get some green cards i like green it's also a cool color i think i've got quite a lot of green cards but that's all things for for later i think i'm first just going to focus on the flyers deck so blue black flyers do we have any cool cards here no we don't and i think maybe this episode i want to go into a dungeon you know collect some cards hmm Let's begin a quest, maybe. Defeat the Paladin. I will reward you with a colorless card. Okay, accept the quest. That's pretty good. So we need a Paladin. Let's buy some cards. Nothing special to see here. Let's leave the village. Ooh, morale. I don't think that's a Paladin, right? Is that a Paladin? Hmm. Do I want to play against the same tower? You know, I'm, I'm going to do it. I mean, I can keep paying these guys off, but that's not going to help. Start the duel. What do I have in my hand? I've got a Sengir Vampire, a Protocol Sorcerer, a Swamp, a Wall of Air, a Falcon, a Water Elemental, and a Drudge. So if I can just, exactly, if I can just find one more land, I can drop a Zephyr Falcon next turn or a Drudge. Ooh, also I have a Dark Ritual, so that's good. I'm just first going to drop the Sephir. Hopefully draw another land so I could potentially play a Sengir Vampire next turn with the Dark Ritual. Ooh, that's a good move. Okay, there's another Swamp. So I'm going to go Dark Ritual into Sengir Vampire. Just aggressive, you know. I'm just going to attack, and that's basically going to be the main idea of my deck. Just to have four Dark Rituals and just play out those... 4-4 four, four Flyers, you know, Mahamoti Jins. Uh, sorry, that's of course a 5-6, but a Mahamoti early, Sengir early, Air Elemental early. There we go. He's on 14. Wait a minute. I just forgot to play something out. That is kind of stupid. But hey, that happens. And a Wanderlust, so that means a damage a turn. So Wanderlust is this card that people used to play with quite a lot. So you enchant it on a creature, and then during your upkeep, you take uh, the controller takes a damage. I'm first going to attack, and then I'm going to play out the Water Elemental. So Water Elemental is really a card that in this deck I'm hoping to replace it by an Air Elemental. Okay, Carrion Ants, that's pretty good. What to do against the Carrying Ants? I'm gonna play a Tim. Ooh, and I can play the Drudge. I can block on the Drudge. Let's first attack. Swing in for nine. That's great. He's gonna chump. That's even better. And here you can kind of see the, the theme of the deck, right? Like he's placing curse lands, he's placing uh, Wanderlusts. That's really cool. I like that, you know, I uh, appreciate that. I think it's a cool way to try to win the game. 
Let's attack! Boom! Shakalaka! Here we go! So much stuff! Bokraf, Sewers of a Stark. I'm gonna take the cards. I think this is a dungeon here on the left, so that's gonna be nice to go later. Ooh, I see the Paladin! Duel the Paladin! Let's defeat the Paladin, get any colorless card. I have no idea which one I want to have. Hmm. I don't want to lose this Tim. So what do I have? A Sengir Vampire, Unstable Mutation, another Vampire, a Swamp, a Timmy, a Ghost Ship, a Spirit Shackle. Hmm. I'm not really finding any lands so far in these games. Maybe I should... Okay, Underground Sea. Maybe I should check my mana base. Although I think I do have like 24 lands. Or 23 at least. Hmm, I could go Dark Ritual into the Tim. Or I can wait a turn and hope to find... Yeah, I'm gonna wait a turn. Hopefully I can find another land and then I can play a Sengir. Let's hope that my opponent doesn't play anything out. Of course he does. Also has protection from black, so it's actually pretty bad for me. Okay, I'm gonna play Dark Ritual. Then I'm gonna play the Tim. The bad thing is I do take a Mana Burn here, but that's the only way. Yeah, of course, pump it. Why not? Oh my god. Oh, this is going so wrong. Um, wow. I mean, I can put an unstable on it. It doesn't really help, does it? Oh, this is bad. I guess I can take like one more attack from the knights, right? Before I have to jump. Oh, man. I'm just going to ping you for one. Maybe that's going to scare you and you're no longer going to attack. Who knows? And now I find an island. Hmm. I'm dead. But sometimes a computer does something funny. Who knows? I'm not going to give up. Don't attack. Please don't attack. To blue. Okay, that is funny. It's got protection from blue. <sighs> Lost to Timmy. You know what? I'm going to make a screenshot of this. This is going to be um, just real quick. That's going to be the, the cover for this video. Hey, finding a karma! Ooh, and another dungeon. The only positive thing about losing a card is that I have space for another card, which is quite cool. Let's see, what do I have? A Bokrath, of course. Wreath, however you pronounce it. I think it's not Wrath, but Reef, the Bok Wreath. Um. I remember somebody in the comments once told me, uh, what can I put in? What can I put in? Hmm. Preferably a creature back in there, right? Because I took a creature out. Hmm, this is difficult. Let's see what artifacts I have. Rod of Ruin. As a replacement for uh, for the Tim. Hmm. I mean, let's go Battering Ram. I kind of like Battering Ram when it was still in the deck. It was, it was okay. If you combine the Asp with the Tonus's Wand, ooh, I can make it unblockable. That is so funny. I like these little like forgotten combos that they uh, put in the deck. 
Uh, ooh, I've got no food. I need to buy some food. i got to sell some cards as well, actually. Do I have any cards to sell? That is the big question. I've got Earthquake. I've got a Hill Giant. I'm not going to sell that for 10. I'm going to sell the Karma. That's good. It's going to sell all the white cards. Uh, okay, so I've got to find the Paladin still. Since I lost. Oh, this is the Lord of Fate. Whatever, man. I'm going to duel you. Play first. <laughs> hey, look at that. I've got a lot of lands. That's good. A factory, city of brass, a swamp, and a swamp, and a timmy. Water elemental drain life. Okay. Um, I'm going to go for factory. Next turn, I'm just going to play a land, animate the factory, attack for two, hopefully. Or play a drudge. That's even better. Let's go drudge skeleton. Pass the turn. Next turn, City of Brass into Timmy. I mean, this is already looking a lot better than uh, than the previous match. I'm gonna attack first. Maybe he blocks. Who knows? Okay. Let's play the Tim. And the next turn I can use the Tim to kill the vultures. Oh, or not. What? Can we stop this? Oh, man. You know, I was so happy with how things were going and now I'm just dying. Is this going to be one of those episodes, one of those Chandelier, run Chandelier runs where just nothing really works out for me? I wonder what I have on Anti. I honestly can't remember. Let's try to kill the Drudge. I know he can regenerate, but I'm just going to do it. Because now he doesn't have any swamps left next turn. Ha! Let's first see what I'm going to draw. Okay. You know, I have one more, one last turn in me. Or one more turn in me, because I can play this thing here. Which will put me on one, which is not great, so I can can no longer use the um, the city of brass basically. But I am gonna block. I mean, that's why I love this game. How often are you in 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 a real life paper match where you lose a singer vampire to a huge Osai vulture? That just doesn't happen. Oh, there's nothing really I can do. I can play an island. Oh, this is so funny. So I can play the Ma'amoti, but then I take the damage from the City of Brass and I die. You know what? I'm going to ping myself to death. Hey! Oh, man, lose the Vampire Bats. So far, I've lost a Vampire Bats and I've lost a Tim. That is really bad. No, I want to play the Paladin. Hey, the Paladin. Okay, Paladin, you're mine now. I'm going to win. I'm going to beat you, and then I want to go into the dungeon. Because I need some better cards. Um, You know what? I'm going to go for Factory next turn, attack with Factory. I also have, of course, that Water Elemental, but then I need... If I want to play that out early. Okay, now I can do City of Brass, and I can play out the... Drudge, little change of plans. So I've got a dark ritual, unsummon, drain life, island, any water elemental. Wait a minute, why am I not attacking with the factory? This is it, you know, sloppy magic. I need to focus. I've already lost two matches. I need to win against this paladin. Oh, of course, circle of protection, black, of course. Why not? Why not? Go for it, dude. I mean, this game can be so brutal. Okay, I'm going to go Dark Ritual. And now I'm going to cast Water Elemental. Yes. And I'm going to attack with a Drudge. Let's see if he uses his COP Black. I believe this is the art from... Um, is this Ice Age art? I think so. 
Not, not 100% sure. I do know it's Harold McNeil. I can see that by the style. That's what I like about old school art. Is that, that you know, a lot of those artists have a really particular style that you can always recognize. Which I think is super cool. Oh, I got to press the Karma. Oh, he played Karma. I didn't make the connection. Oh, man. So Karma's killer enchantment. So during my upkeep, I take a damage for every swamp that I have. So I've only have one swamp so far. So could be worse, but it's pretty bad. Um, I'm first going to attack. First things first. He's on nine. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play the 10. That means I cannot counter anything. But if he plays out a really big creature, I can still play on summon, counter it the turn after. And I think the Tim is valuable here. Oh, another Karma. Of course, another Karma. But at least with the OG art, which is good. Oh, man, another Karma. And then I got to click on the Karma to take the damage. He's got this anti-black deck. That's mean, man. It's not cool. Uh, let's attack for six. Hmm. Since he's almost dead, I should have attacked with the factory as well, actually. Mm, since he's almost dead, I think I'm going to keep counter magic up. So I'm not going to play anything else out. I'm just going to pass the turn. Hopefully I remember to ping. And if he plays something threatening, I'm going to counter it away. Um, do I need to counter this? Yes. There we go, and then I'm going to ping him for one. Now I'm going to take two points of damage from the Karmas, whatever. And now I'm hopefully going to win the game. There we go, people. No, not to blue. Um, I can counter this. I do find this hysterical, by the way, this, this slide of mind decks. They're so cool. Hey, yeah, I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Um, you know what? I'm going to take the dungeon clue because there are some dungeons near here. South of the Haven. Okay, but this is actually not the dungeon that I saw. Um, okay, whatever. I was hoping it would give me a tip about the dungeon. But the cleric. I don't want to go back. You know what? I'm just going to pay him 40 gold. Hey, any card, yeah. So this is, the Trike is really good. Tetravis is really good. Mm, a land, I can take any land. <gasps> Mishra's Snow, not Mishra's Factory, Mishra's Workshop. Nope, that's not there. Um, Desert. I've always wanted to have a Bazaar of Baghdad. I can maybe make it a reanimate. I'm going to make a reanimator deck. Why not? Yes, Bazaar of Baghdad, please. Is the Bazaar going to help me now with my deck? Not at all, but who cares? Who cares? Um, If I go to the hints... I thought somewhere here there should be hints about what I know about the different dungeons, but I guess there's no hints. There are no hints. Okay, I've got 59 cards. I'm just going to play with the Wraith. I think the Swamp Walk is a good thing, right? Swamp Walk is good. I'm going to buy something here. I'm going to go... Oh, I can buy something to release the world magic spell Fruit of Sustenance. 250. I pay the gold, man. Pay the gold. Pay the man the gold. And we're going to go into the dungeon. Here is the dungeon. I've got good faith in this dungeon. Mount of the Warrior King. Okay. Um, so I see a lot of questions. Which is good. Um, let's have a little walk-see. I do like these questions, actually. It's pretty cool. I wonder what I can find in this dungeon. 
Okay, what special ability does the Cosmic Horror have? Um, first Strike, right? Yay! That's actually a pretty difficult question because you don't play with the Cosmic Horror that much, but I was, of course, lucky that I have one. I've played with it. I do have a copy somewhere in my binder, by the way. I love the art of Cosmic Horror. Okay, so he's blocking something, but maybe it's nothing. There's a dragon. Okay, I'm just going to go this way. What is the total casting cost of Wall of Fire? That's two red and one, so that's three. Yeah! Don't recognize the art. Which of these spells require two black and one colorless mana to cast? El Hajash, Bat Moon, Plague Reds, Gloom, or Animate Dead? Two black mana and one colorless. Bad Moon is one black and one. Plague Reds is one black and two. Gloom is one black and three or two. Enemy Dead, one black and one, so it has to be El Ajash. Yeah, okay. Ooh, there's a treasure. There's a treasure. Okay, we're gonna go. Exploring the dungeon, I encounter a Hydra. Ooh, I want the treasure. Give me the treasure, yeah. Orcish or flame, so I can blow that up with my disc. Does he have one of those aggro decks, like with goblins and orcs and stuff? Um, you know what? I'm going to go. What do I have in hand? Bokrath, two Mishra's Factories, Contract from Below. That's really good. Uh, I'm going to put pressure on, because I've got the disc, so I'm going to play the, the Factories, attack with it. And, you know, if he starts to play really good cards, like this one, I'm just going to blow everything up. Uh, power Surge. During each player's upkeep, Power Surge deals to that player an amount of damage. Let me read it. Uh, equal to the number of untapped lands he or she controls at the beginning of the turn. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a damage because next turn I'm going to tap all my lands. So I'm going to take a damage now, which is fine. I'm going to play another Mistress Factory. I'm going to change this to an Assembly Worker. Exactly. And now I'm going to attack with it. And then I've got all my mana tapped, so I'm good. Power Surge got nothing on me, son. There's the mana flare. Okay, that's good. No damage, of course. Um, let's see, what else can I do? Um, what can I play? I can play a Bokrath. That's pretty cool. Let's do that. Because everything now, every land taps for double mana because of the mana flare. So maybe you're wondering, what's going on? What's the mana flare? I mean, maybe I should use the disc. Maybe, because maybe he's going to play like a huge fireball, but I, I'm going to take the risk. Living on the edge. Oh, wow. This is what living on the edge does. Okay, I'm done with living on the edge. I'm going to blow everything up. I'm done, son. First, we're going to go to main. Oh, you yeah, got to click on power search first. Going to go to main. I'm going to... Shall I tap everything for mana? Let's do that. Okay. Now I'm going to blow everything up. Done. Hey, there we go. Okay, now I've got, let's see, two black and three colors still floating. So I can play... A drudge. There we go. I can play a contract from below. There we go. I have to discard everything. Hey, and I'm getting some stuff back. Uh, I've got two colorless still floating. Dark ritual drain life. So I could play... There's nothing really I can do with that mana. That's unfortunate. I'm going to play a Swamp because I have counter magic. 
Yeah, I mean, do I want to play a drain life? No. That was a little bit unfortunate. Taking the two damage, but I like the turn though. Pro Wait a minute, I could have, of course, animated my factories with the two mana. Ah, oh, stupid. That's the thing, you know, when I think about it, I usually have the better play, but then I've already entered, clicked on enter and stuff, and the ship has sailed. Talking about the ship, I can cast ghost ship, no? Mm, what shall I do? I'm gonna change it to an assembly worker and I'm gonna attack. Let's go! Ooh, he's not gonna block. Okay. Mm. And next turn, I'm gonna play my island and I'm gonna cast the ghost ship or the water elemental. You could do both. Ooh. I just, I find the mana flare so risky. You know, when your opponent is playing cards like that, it's just very risky. Um, then again, it's quite good with the uh, with the drain life, actually. That is true. That is true. So I've got one mana left, so I'm going to change this to an assembly worker. There we go. And you know what? I'm going to attack. I'm going to offer the trade. See what he does. Taking the damage, okay, sure. Sure, Mr. Hydra, look, it's fine. No, six damage to everything, what? And I'm gonna drop to four? I've got no black to regenerate? Oh, this is so bad. I think I need to play a drain life like for huge. Let's see, I've got six mana, six black. I need one black to cast a drain life. So I've got five black left. I need one black for the ritual. Um, and then I, four, six. I can do a drain life force. I think I'm gonna do that. I think it's safer to do that. Okay. Done. Okay, and now maybe I can kill him with the factories. Okay, change to assembly worker. Change to assembly worker. I'm just doing, I'm playing real slow because I just don't want to get mana burn because it's kind of complex with the, uh, the mana flare. Okay, here we go, here we go. Kill him, kill him, yes! Okay, get the treasure, son. Mind Twist, okay, that's like a card I don't like at all, but I'm gonna play with it, because it's super good. Um, okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get some more dice. And I think I'm gonna attack the dragon next. A drudge, okay, it's, it's, it's not too bad. A question, which of these two spells requires two red and one colorless mana to cast? The Wall of Fire, the Iron Claw Orcs, Detonate, Grey Ogre, or Dwarven Warriors? Yeah, Wall of Fire. Wall of Fire? No, Wall of Fire. Ooh, what's over there? Okay, I'm gonna do it. Gonna get the dice. Ooh, there's another treasure. I'm gonna go for it. Troll Shaman. Play first. What do I have in hand? So I've got a Swamp, another Drudge, a Sengir, a Spirit Shackle, City of Brass, Sengir, and an Unstable. Ooh, so what I could do is go Risky, play City of Brass, Unstable, and a Drudge. But then if he has, for example, a, uh, a Bolt, I'm done. So I'm just gonna play it safe. Kind of, you know, protecting my Drudge a little. Just dealing the one damage, putting him on 11. Yeah, exactly. Here we go. He's got the bolt. I'm going to regenerate. Ha <laughs> ha, I saw that coming. I'm so good. Um, and now, you know what? I think now I'm going to play the unstable. Oh. 
The only problem here again is land, so hopefully next turn I'll draw a land. I really need to check my land base. I do find a ritual, which is handy. Um, I'm just gonna attack first, and I'm gonna play the other drudge. And then, you know, if he has a bolt, he has a bolt. Whatever. It happens. I just hope that he doesn't have, for example, an earthquake or something. That would be quite devastating. Don't play out. Okay, Hurlum Minotaur is actually pretty good for him. Uh, what to do? I could attack, then I have to regenerate. Hmm. I think it's worth it, though, because he's so low on life. Let's just attack. Mm, yeah, let's regenerate. I could play Dark Ritual into... You know what? I'm not going to do it. I've got Sengir in hand, so if it just... If it just find another land next turn... He is hitting me here for three... It's difficult, right? Could have played like Spirit Shackle or something. Oh, man. This is not going well. At all. Drain life. Okay. Um, If I attack him, he's going to go to two. If I play a drain life, I get three black. Four black. I, I think I can kill him, actually. With the dark ritual, I get three black. Tap this. I've got four black, two for the... Yeah. Okay. So this may seem kind of odd, but I'm going to attack and I'm not going to regenerate. If my math is correct, which in a lot of cases it's not, so I mean, be prepared. But if my math's correct, I should be able to kill him here. Dark Ritual. Okay. Drain Life. A Drain for two. Okay. The Troll Shaman, please. Is he dead? Hey! You see, I can play magic. You know? Yes, I'm... Oh, wait. What did I win? Was it a Time Walk? I clicked it away so quickly. I'm going to check. And when I'm out of the... When I'm out of the dungeon, I'm going to check. Ooh, an abomination. That is awesome. I love to have an abomination. Let's, you know, let's try to slay this dragon. I'm, I'm, I'm pumped, you know. I'm feeling good about myself. Let's play first. Start the duel. Mm, I've got Swamp Sephiri Falcon to counter from below again. I've got a counter spell, Sea of Brass Island. So I'm going to go for Island. You know, just try to get the counter magic up as quickly as I can. Ooh, wow, showing off. Well, of course, yes, yeah, Stone Rain, my land. Whatever, man. I mean, there's so many cool things you can do with the Black Lotus, and you play a Stone Rain. Come on. I have, by the way, on my channel, I have somebody using a Black Lotus to play a War Elephant turn one. Oh, that was a cool move. Edo, if you're watching, that was a cool move. Okay, let's have a look. Plan Island. I'm gonna attack for two. So I'm just gonna be the annoying blue player and keep counter magic up. Hey, Jambo's on. Let's play a Swamp. And I'm just gonna attack again. Next turn, play City of Brass. I can play Sephir Falcon. Mm, okay, let's play Island. And we're going to play the Sephir. Going to attack with the Abomination. I mean, things are going really well so far. If I beat this dragon, hopefully there's more treasure. Ooh, he's discarding stuff. I like it. Usually I don't like it when my opponent is discarding stuff like in real life because you just want to see two decks that are working, but in Chandelar, I take it, you know. I take it. Uh one, two, three. Let's play the Tim. Pass the turn. A mind twist. Okay, gotta counter the mind twist. Uh counter spell. Hey. Let's see, I'm gonna play a water elemental, why not? 
I'm gonna attack with everything. Oh, oh well, except except to Tim. Tim's gonna ping. He's gonna go to six. So next turn, hopefully, I can win. Uh, let's ping him. The Dragur. There you go, the Dragur. Oh, he's you're very unlucky. But like I said, in Chandelar, I'll take it. Hey. Okay, what do we have? Wow, really? That is... That is not cool. Um, I get an extra life? I don't need that. Mount of the Warrior Kings, that's where I'm at. Hey, I'm getting a Tim. Okay, with the Tim, I'm, with the Tim, I'm feeling good. Let's go attack this troll. I actually think there's nothing after the troll here, but I'm gonna give it a try. Start the duel. Uh, swamp factory to city of brasses, wall of air, go ship a bog wreath. Hmm, you know what? I'm gonna go factory and then just put a lot of pressure on early. I think I probably have both treasures in this dungeon already, but who knows? Oh, I'm forgetting to ping. I'm so stupid. At least I'm not forgetting to animate and attack. That's something. Let's pass the turn. Let's ping the shaman. Play a swamp because I'm so low on life and I want to take damage from the city of brass and I just want to attack anyway with the assembly worker while I still can. If he has a bolt or a shatter, use it. You know, it is what it is. Oh wow, okay. It's gonna fireball away my Tim. That's me, man. That is not cool. Island. Ooh, I can play Bokrath. Shall I do that? I can hit him for three. He'll be dead in two turns. Yes, please. There's the Bok Wreath. I keep saying Wrath, but I mean Wreath. The Bok Wreath. Again, with new art. Crazy nonsense art. Let me, if you recognize the art, let me know in the comments what art this is, uh, Bok Wreath from. Hey, a Stone Giant, also new art. A 3-4, that is super annoying. Hmm. I kind of, Thought I had this in the back, but now he plays his creature and I can't attack. The Brute, now that's a cool card, the Brute. It's a card, I believe, from Legends. Yeah, exactly. And it, it gives starting creature regeneration in red, which is quite exceptional. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna chum block. I can double block. I'm gonna double block. Why not? Let's see what he wants to kill. Oh, we had mana open for regeneration. That is stupid. Is it stupid though? I can kill him now. Ah, you're the stupid one because I have factories. No, 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 not get mana. <sighs> Fuck. Sorry, I was swearing. You didn't hear that, but oh man, this is stupid. Um, I don't want to have the mana. Uh, okay, wait, I can play Sea of Brass. I think I can still win it. Uh, I go Drain Life, uh, tap a Swamp. If I drain him for one, he's going to be on five and then I can attack him for five. Okay, now I don't, I need to make sure I attack with everything. Okay, at least I'm still winning. Oh man, so is there something here behind that dragon? Mm. I'm gonna give it a try. Why not? Play first. Start the duel. I've got Counterspell, Drudge, Ghost Ship, Spirit Shackle, and a lot of lands. Hmm, only six life though. I'm not feeling very confident. Island. I could have gone City of Brass into Drudge, but. I just don't want to hurt myself too much. 
And right now I don't want to play it out because I want to keep counter magic open. So I'm going to do next turn, I'm going to play Drudge, play the island, play the Drudge. Hmm. Let's counter. Okay, I like that. Control magic. I haven't seen a single control magic in all these games. I'm playing with two or three, maybe? Oh, it's trying to kill me. That is mean, man. Um, I'm going to play the drudge. Let's attack for two. There's a pretty big chance. Exactly. I wanted to say a pretty big chance I'm going to lose this. Kicked out of the dungeon. But I'm still feeling good, though. Let's have a look at my spoils of war. If I was not mistaken, I believe I picked up... Let's see. I thought I saw a time walk. Let's just uh, click everything on there. Yeah, I got a time walk. <laughs> That's so cool. That is so cool. That is so nice. Uh, the question is, am I going to play with Mind Twist? Hmm. Do I want to play with Mind Twist? I just... Do I want to play with Mind Twist? You know, for now, I'm going to leave it out. Maybe later I'm going to put it in. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave it out. Anyway, this was the Chandelier uh, run for today. I think it was a really good run. We got a Time Walk. We got a Mind Twist. We also lost some stuff. We also got a bazaar of Baghdad. I need anime debts. So next, uh, let's see, is there something in this village? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Next time, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to you know maybe get some more flyers, get anime debt to get it going, and I'm also going to visit some more dungeons, and I also should get ready to kind of attack the White Wizard. Right, I saw on the on the map here. Yeah, I'm very close to the White Castle. So I guess if I want to go into the White Castle, I need like Gloom and maybe some other, like Black Knight probably, you know, in the uh, in the White Castle. So I'm going to try to find some cards to uh, attack the White Castle next time. Anyway, uh, for now, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the show, if you like the Chandelier Run, please hit that uh, thumbs up button. That really helps a lot. And I also have a Patreon page. Uh, check out patreon.com slash Timmy Talks for more info on that. And, uh, oh, wait, let me first save before I forget. Let's save the game. Boom, it is saved. Sweet. Okay, and now it's time to go to the end scroll. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ik het dus, ik het dus, zomba kazee.